We gotta go back up that mountain, pulling him. Looks like he's still alive. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my lord. Oh yeah, baby. Busting my chops for that guy. Look at that ravine I gotta go up. Look at that. I'm gonna get up that. Look at that. Or this side, look. Oh no. <laughs> what did I get myself into? And I got no cell service here. No cell phone service. It's not gonna be a good one today. And it's gonna rain any minute. Chop, chop, Bobsy. Good old Browning did it again. What a nice one. He was a smart buck. I caught him all the way on the other side. Then he was chasing two does all around the other corner. So then I uh, snuck around this far end, cut him off at the pass, the two does ran around me. And then he ran around the bottom, skirted me again. And then I went up to the top and he didn't come up to the top. So an ice started coming back down and I caught him again. He snorted, stopped, shot him once, he ran down. He looked like he wasn't even hit. So I just shot him two more times to make sure. I'm not tracking him. I got enough of a drag. It's real far back here down ravines. Let me get this thing tagged, gutted, and try to get it up that mountain. All right, my next leg is about 600 feet, 700 feet straight up. It's gonna be interesting, to say the least. 
Uh, never easy. Look at this Billy Goat climb. Just walking up this is pretty rough. I don't even know how I'm gonna pull that thing up here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Lucky I'm not going for the 200 pounder. You could keep that one. Yeah, camera's probably not gonna serve with justice. How steep this place is. And you're gonna get those naysayers. A rifle's for weak people. Sitting on your couch saying something. Come on out and try it. See how it works out for you. Here we go. Up to Andy's. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Oh look, my brother finally showed up. Hey! Ah, it's a miracle. Happy New Year's. Hallelujah. Oh, man. man. This is a heck of a ravine. I don't know how you're going to get this thing. Well, that's why you came. Oh, this is like I had one bar of service at the top, at the goal at the top. Yeah, I was texting you to see if you needed a hand, and then when you told me where you shot him, I said, I better come back here and give you a hand. Uh, yeah, he's, how big is he? He's down there. Is it the big one that you saw the No. He's, I think he was the one that faked me out on top up here. But he's oh. still pretty good. Late season, uh, it's nice to get a buck. Uh, and it's about to start pouring, so you better get him yeah. out of here before you get drenched. All right, well, thank you for showing up. What are brothers for? Help you drag that buck out. Yeah, hold on. Which way we go? To the right, I guess. Right above it's Rima. Right here. Over these two logs on the left. I got water. I brought one bottle of the truck. Oh man. Yeah, it always feels like late season. You always get the deer in like the hardest spots to get them out. Hey, look, up, 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 up. Yeah, but that's why he's down here. We've been hunted all season. I chased him all around. <laughs> yep, look how steep. Up, 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 and away. Seems like it never ends. Wait up, I'll give you a hand. Never gets easy going up the whip first. So I took a couple shots at him because uh, I was tired of chasing him around the freaking whole mountain. And it uh, looks like I hit him pretty good going anywhere. Look at that. Freehand, pretty far. I think 75, 80 yards. Double tapped him. Right where it counts. 
one hole, two bullets in the same hole, and two exits. So I got my deer. I aged it uh, for four days, about 32 degrees, 35 degrees. And uh, then we processed it, I skinned it out, and uh, we started making some homemade venison sausage. Uh, yeah, we'll show you what we made. Lucky with the help of my mom helping out, and uh, we got it going. Venison jalapeno cheddar sausage here. And I made that one a really hot blend. That one's got a lot of kick to it. Extra jalapeno, extra ch red chili pepper. We got venison regular Italian sausage here. That's all made up. Separate little bags, zip, freezer Ziploc bags, individually done. So it'll be a lot easier to go through. We got regular venison breakfast sausage here. It's a pretty big pack. That's going to be quite a bit actually in there. You got individual packs in there. And we got regular venison jalapeno sausage. And it, you ask why these are different packaging in there. That's a press and seal first, push the air out of it, and then freezer wrap paper. We do that to keep it lasting a lot longer. These white ones with the freezer wrap and clang and seal, press and seal, that one will last a lot longer than just a regular freezer Ziploc bag. So uh, that's why I wrap those separately. And that's actually, we got a fine one here. We're testing out fine and coarse to see which one tastes better. A lot of them are uh, trial as we go. This one's four venison shanks, which we have a video on how to do those, the shanks. And this one's going to be all the venison tenderloin. And then you got a pack of inner loin, which comes right from the, above the stomach area, inner loin, and then all the tenderloins individually ready to go for the barbecue or cutlets. And then whole deer neck. And uh, yeah, all of these we mixed with a pork shoulder. We chopped up one big pork shoulder. And we also did uh, beef fat. We mixed beef fat with that. So uh, they actually got a lot of moisture to it. It's not too dry. And a fresh jalapeno, we put all types of seasonings in it, put it in a frying pan, tried it out first just to make sure this, the blend is good. And then we found that, uh, add a little bit of more, give it more flavor, more kick, uh, make sure it's not too salty and uh, just make your blend that way and mix it all up and uh, put it away in bags as we pretty much did. Not just me, it was me and the help of my mom. She's a hard worker, it takes a long time. It took the whole day to do one deer, but we got plenty to show for it. And uh, on top of it, the heart was shot. So it was a perfect heart shot at 65 yards. So I couldn't keep the heart, but I got the liver. So we did liver and onions and butter and fried that up. And uh, that was a good one. That was really tasty. Uh, somebody was asking, what do you do with this deer? And uh, this is it. So a lot of people ask, like, why do you hunt? Why do you go out there? Why do you do it? Why do you freeze and stay out there and hunt? Because we hungry. We want something good to eat. That's why we do it. And uh, it's our tradition. Carry it on. You got to eat, you know.